Chinese chip manufacturers claim 14 nanometers of chips to go into full-scale manufacturing in 2022. Microelectronic Shifting semiconductor technologies will see 14 nanometers of microchips reach complete-scale devices in China by 2022. According to a leading specialist at Zhejiang University, Chinese chipmakers and component suppliers have overcome the most difficult specialized challenges and succeeded in localizing the whole 14 nanometers chip production line and supply chain. I am excited to tell you fresh news concerning Chinese chipmakers stating 14 nanometer chips will be mass produced in 2022. Let's continue with our video and look at the material for today. Vu Hamming the growth of artificial technology has slowed in the post-Moore age, according to the Dean of Zhejiang University's College of Microelectronics and Nanoelectronics. Even nevertheless, the distance between China and the United States was growing, as were the opportunities for creation. Domestic groups have recently invested a significant number of resources in manufacturing generation, providing our company with the capabilities required in large-scale chip manufacturing product lines, such as drawing CBD toast treatment, CMP, drawing machines, and so on. Chips that are a little older have been the target of a lot of colorful scrutiny. According to VIEW, tone adequacy in 14 nanometers chips will imply a lot in the context of the growth of the Internet of Effects, the transfer of the semiconductor industry, and the time of Moore's law comes to a close. When compared to other semiconductor technologies such as 3 nanometers and 5 nanometers, 14 nanometers is a complex device that is still in its mature stage. 14 nanometers chips are used in high capacity consumer electronics, AI chips, mileage processors and machine electronics among other applications. The chips are being mass produced by international agencies with Global Foundries INC negotiating a 14 nanometers mass product in 2015 and United Microelectronics Corp in 2017. In 2019, SMIC conducted a similar product standard. Patron transfer, additional accounterments, and increasing yield were three major obstacles for the 14 nanometers microchip production method. To deal with these difficult circumstances, critical equipment such as drawing machines and thin film deposits were scrapped and installed in large-scale production lines. Improvements have also been made in the 14 nanometers systems research and development. Furthermore, the benefits of post-packaging integration generation have been achieved in mass products and a slew of critical substances, including stropping merchandisers, sputtering, pretensions has fulfilled the requirements of large-scale production lines and reached mass markets. These accomplishments have currently spread across China's whole commercial force chain for integrated circuits, presenting a comprehensive set of procedure technology. As a result, China is now completely capable of mass-producing 14 nanometers devices. The future of domestic Chinese goods is still constrained by global market fluctuations, but as demand for chips in China grows rapidly in response to the lucrative internet and LOT localization of 14 nanometers products is both required and vital. The advancement of commercial, auto, and clinical systems will increase demand for large quantities of simple complements, which will become an abecedarian component of the force chain. From a macro perspective, because of the center, the Internet of Everything and the growth of the Internet of Effects will update the mobile internet age with mobile phones. The force factor is still converting to the tremendous demand for 14 nanometers chips with the chips because of easy complements. According to IDC estimates, China's Internet of Effects market will spend 300 billion US dollars in 2024. China will account for 45% of global semiconductor demand. According to semiconductor industry statistics, the growth rate of chips based on the marketable internet and the internet of effects is increasing. The internet of effects is widely employed in buses, companies and other product diligence, and 14 nanometers chips have emerged as the most popular among all the chips used in those packages. These scenarios no longer need sophisticated chip technology, but they do require high performance and reliability. 
which 14 nanometers can provide. Car chips, for example, need long-term testing, high reliability, and modeling to a variety of harsh situations, but they do not wish to be shrunk down to 5 nanometers or 7 nanometers, unlike mobile phone chips. The number of chips necessary for the Internet of Things is much more than that required for consumer devices, and chip production techniques are far less stringent than those required for cellular phones. Some of the most successful vehicle and business chips demand process ranges of 14 nanometers, 28 nanometers, and 45 nanometers, which necessitate greater cost effectiveness or even higher requirements for chip adaption options and scenario modification. Since the first half of 2020, the worldwide epidemic and subsequent herbal failures have led to a large-scale global chip shortage, lowering supply chain size, diminishing communication efficiency between upstream and downstream, and delaying foundry conversion velocity. This is a topic that is discussed in automotive and industrial chips. The initial vehicle chips were in short supply in the second half of the last year, followed by industrial chips home chips and the semiconductor delivery chain from foundry to packaging. This sort of global scarcity has seldom been seen in the history of the semiconductors and many of the out-of-stock goods are 14 nanometers based chips. The key issues facing the semiconductor industry according to VU are that the economic supply chain is just too long, too vast, too globalized and too dependent on worldwide distribution. This is why today we will witness the successful development of integrated circuits in tandem with Moore's Law, who explains. Moore's Law is a basic semiconductor industry rule that states that, at the same rate, every 18 to 24 months, the number of transistors that an incorporated circuit can hold doubles, and the performance doubles. The price of a chip has been reduced by a million times over several years as a consequence of the extension of Moore's Law delivering significant benefits to society and the economy. Small size, a few capabilities, low power consumption and cheap price, according to VU, are the four cornerstones for technical advancement in the whole integrated circuit business. He points out that the cost of transistors increased to $1 a piece in the 1970s. Tens of thousands of transistors may now be purchased with this charge processors in today's mobile smartphones can upload tens of billions of transistors, a modern-day cellular telephone might have cost tens of billions of dollars if you go back in the 1970s. Vu claims that the industry is still following Moore's law in terms of non-stop transistor growth, but in terms of unit cost as the chip technique grew to 28 nanometers about 2014, the cost of 1 million transistors changed by around 2.7 cents. The price increased to 2.9% when the technology was upgraded to 20 nanometers. The original Moore's Law has been broken by the rate of transistor growth. Moore's Law appears to be slowing down from a financial standpoint. Principal multinational manufacturers are currently adopting 5 nanometers and 3 nanometers manufacturing processes to boost next generation mobile phone chips, pushing Moore's Law to its limits. Many automotive and industrial chips, on the other hand, only need process levels of 14 nanometers, 28 nanometers, and 45 nanometers. In 2020, the top 17% of the categories below the 10 nanometers node may be utilized, according to the sector's integrated circuit merchandise. 83% of goods will employ rather mature generation nodes, implying that reasonably mature method generation, including 14 nanometers, would be additional care. In the first half of 2019, the global semiconductor industry was valued at over $200 billion, with 14 nanometers of technology counting for 65% of all chips. As a result, it's safe to say that 14 nanometers will continue to be the dominant process for most mid to high end circuits, and it's now one of the most highly regarded process technologies. According to VU, the development of a business age has slowed in the post more generation, allowing for more opportunities for innovation and catch up opportunities. This suggests that China should focus on localization and industrial capacity expansion that exceeds the global average, and the establishment of a commercially oriented generation culture. With the advent of the Internet of Things, the shift in industries and Moore's Law slowing down, the company may employ 40 nanometers chip technology to meet popular chip requests and generate new improvement possibilities in the domestic chip manufacturing industry chain. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video. You may leave your comments in the comment section below. We will continue to add more videos to our library. 
As a result, your subscription and likes will motivate us to make more videos. Have a wonderful day.